Hi there! This is a quick instructional video on how to navigate ClassFinder and how to register for your courses in My Okanagan. We're starting off on the OC homepage and we're going to click under Current Students and click ClassFinder. This is where all the courses are going to be listed. We're going to select courses for the Winter 2021 term, select Distance Education Courses, and Business. Then you click Search at the bottom of the screen. All of the courses listed in the winter term under business for distance education courses will be listed here. You'll see the business course on the left, the course title, and the CRN, which is located here in the middle. The CRN is what is the five digit code that we use to register you in your courses in Maya Okanagan. You'll also see the instructor and the dates of the program. So let's go ahead and select Financial Accounting 1, BUED 111. If I wanted to take this course, I would highlight the CRN number and add it to my schedule. So I'm going to copy this number and add it to my draft schedule. This does not register me in the course, but it does allow me to keep all the courses I'm interested in taking in one area and make a schedule. To go back, you add another course. and I'm also going to select Business Sales, BUED 176D11 and I add it to my draft schedule. To add one more, I go back to add another course, and I'm going to click Computer Applications BUED 128 D11. I'm going to add this to my schedule. These are just some of the courses you can take in your first year in business. To learn more about the exact courses you need for your diploma or your degree, check out our previous video, Navigating a PDP for the Diploma or the Degree. Now that I have some courses here, this would qualify me for part-time education. I'm going to go ahead and register in these courses. I can see the CRN number for my first course, Financial Accounting, and I'm going to copy this exactly how it's written. I'm then going to click on My Okanagan in the top right corner of my screen. Once you're in My Okanagan, you can see all the online services here on the left-hand side of the page go down to Registration. Once you've selected Registration, you're going to add or drop a class. We are then going to select the Winter 21 term. Now, if you have a registration time ticket, it will be listed here and you will be able to register for courses. What you would do is you would paste your CRN five-digit number onto this page, click Submit, and all your courses would appear in here. Because I'm not a student, I can't go any further, but you can always confirm if you've registered by going to the Home button, under Student, Student Record, and Registration, and you will be able to see all the courses that you've registered in successfully. You can also web drop from your course or add courses at a later date. Be sure to check with an advisor to make sure you're taking the courses you need for your program and if you have any questions about building a schedule. Going back to ClassFinder, we have made a schedule for distance education, but let's say we're doing virtual classes through online studies. We would select online, business, and we would search for those courses. These classes, you'll note, have a specific time and date allocated to each course. This means you would go into My Okanagan and then into your student portal, Moodle, to sign into that course. You would log in for this class on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. to watch your instructor's recorded video lecture or their virtual class. You can also see when the courses are offered, January till April, the instructor, and again, you'll have the CRN five-digit code, which is what you would use to register in My Okanagan. Important details about that course are listed underneath in the description. For example, if that course has a prerequisite, if we scroll down to a second year level course, Financial Accounting 2, you will see the prerequisite needed to go into that course. As you pursue the program that you're in and get farther along into upper year level courses, there will be more and more prerequisites. For example, organizational behavior, you'll see prerequisites listed here. And for social entrepreneurship, the prerequisites listed here. Be sure to read the description for the course, the prerequisites, 
and also all the required resources that you'll need to be successful in that class. Just like we did for distance education, you can build a schedule for online virtual classes. So let's say we are taking BUED 116 marketing on Monday and Wednesday at 11 till 1220. We scroll across and add it to our schedule. You can still take a combination of distance education and virtual classrooms. If you have a conflict, it will show up here, located in red, and will say you have a conflict and you should choose another class. For example, we have two financial accountings, so I would remove one. Once you have your schedule made, you go back to My Okanagan, this page here, and under the online services, click registration, click add drop class, your semester, and you input that five digit code. Once you submit that five digit code, you are registered in that class. As always, make sure to check with an advisor to make sure that you are staying on track for graduation, taking the required courses for your diploma and degree, and the courses you need for a specialty. Thanks for watching. We hope this was helpful and best of luck in your semester this year.